Hello, uh, everybody. It's me again. It's just me. Don't worry. It's just me. Um, I've uh, I've been informed by the Toon Boom guys. Uh, they've seen the tutorials and they're pretty happy with them. And um, but they they filled me in on a few of the uh, the things that I missed about um, the text tool. Now, what I said in the text with the text tool is that it's um, a uh, it, it's fairly limited at the moment and that, you know, it, we're in version one, we're grateful to have a text tool, but there are things that it can't do. Well, I was wrong. So what I'm going to do is just demonstrate, um, uh, they pointed out the uh, the way to do things and, and it turns out that I had just missed a couple of, uh, of fairly obvious um, things. So I'm going to just type some text here first. I'll set it to center. Now, with the text selected, the reason I missed it is because it's um, it's down the bottom of the the select tool properties. So select your text, and you scroll down, and you've got text selection. Um, if your text tool, if your tool properties take up the whole column, like if I minimise the colours out of the way, you can see that um, the text selection properties are down the bottom of the uh, text tool properties. Uh, sorry, the <laughs> select tool properties. Um, right, so once that's done, I can change it to a uh, to a font that I like. Um, I'm going to choose a font that somebody made for me called Brackenwood. That's where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is, Brackenwood. Now, with that selected with the text tool, I can just um, with the select tool, I can just uh, raise the size of it up a bit. Cool. Now the other thing, well, uh, uh, before I move on to that, um, it, you can reselect your text with the text tool. So here um, I can adjust just parts of it. Um, 500. That's a big double O. Um, 120. Yeah, so uh, you, you, can do, you can select parts of text now. Um, the other thing I missed was, or the thing that I said that couldn't be done, is uh, to break apart the text, and that's false. So uh, the way to do that, though, you have to go into your drawing view. So you select your text, and then go to your drawing view. If you haven't got your drawing view here, you can drop it down from this list. Choose drawing. Um, select your text. Now you can right-click on the text, and down the bottom in the convert menu, break apart text layers. So doink, and there I've got the text broken apart into individual characters. Now this is just broken it down one level, so this is still technically text. And I can uh, adjust the fonts and individual um, the properties for each of these characters individually. Uh, so what I need to do if I want to actually draw on this and, and adjust the artwork, I need to break it apart again, uh, just like in Flash. Um, so convert, break apart text layers. And now uh, the text is individual piece of artwork and I can choose the contour editor and mess about with it. I can get some colors, um, make, repaint and so forth, which is great. What I like to do is, um, is uh, paint little vines on the bracken wood characters. Oops, I'm still in repaint mode. Yeah, so it's good to be able to customize our text like that. Um, right, and just before I go, I'll mention quickly that um, we're going to, in future series, we're going to talk about cutout animation. Um, thanks for all your feedback on the videos so far. And it's great to see that you've, um, you're getting a lot out of them, even though this is a very basic for now. And, um, and admittedly, cutout animation isn't my forte, as I mentioned in the first series. Um, but I will, uh, I'll come up to speed and um, hopefully put something together that everyone can appreciate and use. Uh, I'm going to flatten what I've done here. See the, um, the vines are still a bit, uh, they're still separate. So if I select the whole lot and I press Alt-Shift-F, that's the shortcut for flattening stuff. So now if I select a vine, you can see it's part of the character. And finally, just before we hit the five minute mark, um, I can select the whole lot, go back to camera view, uh, select the whole lot, 
and in the text, uh, I keep saying text tool, in the select tool properties, there's a button here called um, distribute to layers. We'll be talking about that when we um, break up characters into segments and distribute them to their separate layers, but that's where it is. If I click that, now every every character in this um, in this thing has been uh, put on a separate layer. So there you go. We'll look at that a bit more later. Thanks again for all your feedback, guys. Um, I'll see you soon.